everybody, it's Mark. <clears throat> Let me get my breath here. Just uh, climbed up another epic trail here in Sun Valley, Idaho. And you know, one of the things I get quite a bit is about my, my nutrition and my hydration. So I wanted to break it down, just talk about only about hydration. And people ask, you know, like, what are you taking? How much water do you have to bring? And the first thing is that you always need to bring uh, one or two, depending on the length, obviously, of the trail that you're going up and how steep and how hot it is on that particular day. You know, today, for example, it's about uh, 45 degrees. And I've only only going around four miles round trip. And so it's, it's brisk, it's cold. You can probably hear the wind in the background. And so I've got a fanny pack on. A lot of times I'll carry a backpack. And then I've got a water bottle uh, on my side which um, tends, tends to really help. Now inside this water bottle right here, which can do me all the way up and all the way down, I have um, a uh, hydration tablet in there. So a lot of people use Noon, N-U-U-N. That's a great way to go. I use another one most of the time called Q Sciences. They've got great hydration, but the bottom line, it's flavored. It gives you something a little bit different. And, and if you're out much longer, you really want to stop by like when I climbed down Mount Whitney, I ran out of water and there was a lake kind of at the bottom of this place called 99 Steps. And I did not bring my water filtration system, which is key because you can just dip it right in the water. You can filter it out all the bugs and, and uh, uh, everything else that might make you sick um, and make it super duper clean water. And then you throw in a nutrition tab on top of that and off you go. So the key is always have tons of water. Um, it can prevent things like, especially in the higher elevations, which I've done around the world, um, certainly frostbite for sure, altitude sickness, especially when it's hot, it's beaming off the sun's beaming off the snow and coming back and reflecting you can really get dehydrated and remember the higher you go the more suppressed your appetite and your thirst get so surprisingly you think as you're burning all those calories you get super hungry and want to eat but it works just the opposite way so um, when you go out in the wilderness make sure you have enough water obviously some uh, uh, power bars and things like that if that's what you need we'll get into that in another one but that is my key to success on trying to make all these different peaks and you know, look at, at the end of the day, there's no substitute but just doing it, right? All right, everybody, thank you, bye.